I love being out there, I do. I absolutely love it. I think I've got some good. Oh man, but ah! the worst signal. It was the worst, honestly. Oh yes. I'm shaking, mate. I'm absolutely shaking. Wait till you see this. Look at that. That is incredible. It is so heavy. How are we doing everyone? Out on a freshly cultivated field, as you can see in the background, look at this. Hopefully it's brought up some goodies. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I was last out, so fingers crossed I have a decent day and find something. Out on that um, doomsday book form, that I go on quite a lot. I have some good finds on here. I've got my cousin with me today. I'm on the day as two as normal. So I'm going to crack on, we'll do a live dig for the first hole once I get one, and we'll see how we do today. Catch on the first. Just into my first target. It's like a mid-tone, I'm on a four-tone setting at the minute, I changed my settings down to a four-tone. Full tones was a bit too much for my ears, so yeah, I'm down on a four-tone at the minute. saying it's out new new get the pin pointer on it get the pin pointer on it it's there whatever it is somewhere there in that oh wait is it that there it is whatever's in there is the first target of the day very first target of the day there it's like some old like victorian like bottle lid or something maybe like for like a toothpaste or something like that Got a bit of a design going on there but that's the first target I've um, just located another mid-tone, scraped this bit out, and it's saying it's there in that side. So, we'll get it out and see what it is. I think it's there. Oh, I can see it. It's actually a little coin. It must have been on its side. It didn't come up punchy like normal, it was like a mid toner. It's a little farthing. See if we can get a date on the other side or anything or any detail. Oh, making a mess of the trousers. Andre and his wife watch, they don't like it when I wipe the coins on my trousers. Yeah, it's just a little farthing, we've got no date. That could be a Victoria on there that I can see maybe. Yeah, it is. It's a Victoria. You can just see her face into the left there. There you go. Look, you can see her on there nicely now. Yeah, a little Victorian farthing. Coming back for a livey. Lovely sounding one. One of the higher tones this time. Obviously, I can't tell you the numbers because I don't have them. I might invest in the um, other headphones so I can stick the little puck on the thing and show you the numbers maybe. Because I know people do like to see the numbers. It's just not something that I'm overly eager to do to be honest i do fine without having the numbers and that and the xy screen and it's there we're gonna have a big piece of lead or a big piece of copper ah uh, big piece of copper or brass old um door handle or something it was a lovely sounding one though we're just into another coin sounded lovely Once again, I don't think there's anything on there. It's just a crusty old green one. Bit of a bigger farthing that time, so maybe a George. Maybe a George III farthing. Maybe it's bigger than that Victoria one anyway. But yes, yeah, another coin. On the coin 
trail. So, so far I've had two coins, that little lid, some copper wire. I've dug about six holes so far. But it's nice. Do you know when all the stubble's gone and it's roughed up a little bit? It's like a fresh field. So, yeah, it's quite exciting. I've been on here hundreds of times, but every time you come on, you, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it just feels like a new field. All the stubble's gone, the soil's ruffled up. You don't know what it might have dragged up. Little cut quarters could have been like five inch down, just a little bit out of the way on the sides. They might have been lifted up now. Little Romans, you know how iffy signals, they can be on a Roman coin. They can be really iffy signals, can't they? You don't know, they might have been lifted up. So yeah, it's always exciting when your field's been freshly done and that stubble's not restricting you. So, see how we can get on. And I'm hoping for a good day. Like I said, I've only been here about 15 minutes so far. Had a few little bits. But yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting to be out on, to me, what feels like a fresh field. Even though I've done it hundreds of times. Probably took all the good stuff. But you just never know. You just never, ever know with this hobby, do you? It only takes a centimetre to miss a really good target. So, I could have walked there before. Literally there. Dug a coin. And then just... You know, just out of the swing's reach, I might have missed it by a millimetre. A centimetre, a millimetre. You just never know. So that's why it always gets me excited. I love being out, I do. I absolutely love it. Like I say, not been out for two weeks. I've had a bad... Let's say a bad bum. That's all we'll say. <laughs> just a nice little floral design pressed piece of copper. Probably sat on the front of something like a little box that someone had the jewellery in, maybe. Would have been nice gold gilded, I'd imagine. Yeah. We've got a breaker. Well, that's what I call them. A clump. I call them breakers because they're exciting. Uh, it's a bit of a eye tone with a mid tone. So this could be anything. Oh. Bloody hell. I tone with a mid tone shotgun shell. We're into some sidewall surprise. Sidewall surprise. What we got? What is hiding in the side? It's in this bit. Is it that? Sidewall surprise. More like sidewall shite. Well, the weather's taken a turn for the worst. It's gone really windy and cold. Listen to that, though. That sounds lovely. I've just located it with the pinpointer already before I came back to you. I thought I'll show this one because it does sound really nice. It's just there. Oh, it's a bit of crap. Oh no, it's a coin, I think. Is it a coin? No, it's not a coin because there's something on the back. Oh god, I think it is just a bit of crap. Oh, it's the room. Um... One minute, there we go. Key old thing. Ah, uh, not so old. Lovely sanding target, though, that was. That is an absolute screamer. That's a screamer, that. It's out. It's out and about. It's in here. Nope. It's in there. It sounds lovely, whatever it is. If we can bloody find it. Oh, God. It's a bloody door hinge. <laughs> that sounded lovely. Wow. Well, I never. A bloody little door hinge. Just got this one from down there. I thought it was nothing at first, but then I've... I've cleaned it. Look how thick it is. Look at that. I'm near a fresh water spring where I've had loads of Roman brooches in the past. And maybe not because it's got like that black colour to it. But I don't know. When I first seen it, I thought, is it the tip of a spoon? Like a Roman spoon. It like curves in and that's dead chunky. 
can't imagine what else it can be other than a spoon, but look how chunky that is. Look at that. Don't know, what do you reckon? Any ideas, anyone? Because I'm stumped, other than a, like a really, really, really old spoon, I can't imagine. Like I say, it's made out of like bronze and that, it's got that colour to it and what have you. So yeah, stumped on that one. If that's not a Roman spoon, I don't know what is. Lovely sounding one here, absolutely lovely. Oh, need some silver, need some silver. Where's that gone? It's in here somewhere. It's in there, so if you can hear that noise, that's the other guy's pinpointer. Well, my pinpointer on the machine. I just said I need silver and I think, or is that just silver gilded button? I think it's just a silver gilded button. Ugh. Yeah, it is. Jesus, I thought I'd just called that then. I thought I said, oh, I need silver and then, yeah, look, the silver gilded, actually, I think it's a forged coin, is it? Maybe, a forgery, because I'm sure I can see a bit of design going on there. That's the back side and front side to get a closer look. I'm sure I can see some writing and that going around the edges. So it's most likely a George the Third forgery, maybe. You see what I mean around the edges and that. It's definitely not a button because there's no shank or anything. Yeah, a forgery. Just as I said, I want silver. I find a silver forgery. How we doing? Uh, I'm back home now. I'm not going to bother, I'm not going to bother with a, a roundup. I didn't really find too much. I was only out for two hours, just over two hours, so not too much came up. But I did want to talk about something. Um, this was an article I wrote in the um, Treasure Hunting magazine. That was about 2019. Um, the article actually came out in May 2020. Uh, as you can see there, above the half sovereign, there's a Bronze Age coin planchet so it would have been a stator but it was unstruck so that got reported back then when I found it I've recently had an email from the museum to say that they're acquiring it so four years later they've decided that they're acquiring it um Newark Museum are having it but it's still at the British Museum at the moment so yeah they're buying that off me the valuation uh, it's quite a rare thing. You don't see many of them, to be honest. Quite a rare thing. Some nice finds from me that year. Look at them finds. What I got that year. Celtic staters. Look at that lovely, lovely locket. Roman ord. Yeah, it was a great year. But yeah, um, valuation three hundred pound. I'm not too fussed about the valuation, honestly. Um, I don't care. I'll just give all that to the farmer anyway, because he's a uh, He's become a good friend of mine, the farmer, to be fair. We get on well, always talking, always chatting. So I'll just let him have that. But um, what are your thoughts on valuations? Have you ever had anything that's gone there, it's been there five years or something, and then you've thought, geez, they've had that a long time, and they want to give me 20p for it. But yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I've done a couple of articles. Here's another one that I did in the Searcher magazine this time. There I am, look. Searcher magazine. That was a bit of a longer one. I told a bit of a story in that one about like certain things. Yeah, had some had some good stuff over the years. So that was the searcher. Treasure into both great magazines, both as good as each other in my eyes. But yeah, just thought I'd mention that. Like I say, four years later, got confirmation that the museum want to purchase it. It'd be nice with these like offers that they give you if they did like have it on display and not just chucked in a drawer and had your name next to it or something maybe like where you found it like this was found metal detecting by so and so i think a lot of people would be happy then Do you know, not just yeah we'll buy that and chuck it in a drawer we'll give you the scrap value for it and chuck it in a drawer who knows but yeah just thought i'd bring that up but wise today not too much it was quite tough with it being so wavy and bubbly but it was exciting i was happy to be out Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I've got two mental cats there going at it. Got to sort my dog out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.